Now there's two particular cases that we want to look at graphically and we want to look at position graphs and velocity graphs. So first of all let's make this a position graph. You could think of the position in meters compared to the time in seconds. So this again is a position graph showing where an object is at any given time. And we're going to first imagine a position, a position graph for an object moving at a steady speed at a steady speed. Well if it's moving its position is changing and if it's at a steady speed its position is changing by the same amount every second and we end up with a straight graph. As time goes on the position changes. In this case we can imagine the object moving forward so the position would be getting greater as time goes on. And again this doesn't mean the object is moving up it just means the position graph is going up. This could be once again our car along the road or along the the number line that we imagine being on the road and it's moving forward and as time goes on the position increases and that's shown on this graph right here as time goes on the position gets greater and greater now if we take that same motion and we make a graph of the velocity and the velocity might be in meters per second and that's compared to the time in seconds. If it's moving at a steady speed, both of these graphs will be for motion at a steady speed. If it's moving at a steady speed, that means it's not accelerating. That means the velocity does not change. So my velocity graph is just going to be a straight line like that. As time goes on, the velocity stays right there at the same number. So both of these graphs represent the same motion. These two graphs both represent motion at a steady speed or motion where there is no acceleration or you could say motion at a constant velocity. The two graphs look different because one of them is a graph of the, of the car's position over time and one is a graph of a car's velocity over time. But both of those graphs should make sense to you.